Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Titan Season 1. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DCTV or Titans videos later this year. So, as you guys know, I made a Titans video the other day, and they actually revealed that Titans is going to be airing in the fall this year, so in autumn, around September time, and it will probably go on to about January, so, you know, it's going to be around the start of the new seasons for DC TV. so it's a good time, kind of a bit annoyed it's not airing in the summer, but, you know, hopefully it starts like a month before the other DC shows return. So we've got a massive plot detail summary that has been released online, and I've tried to cut it down, I will keep it as brief as possible, I will obviously leave the link to the article in the description below, but we're going to be going over what roughly is going to be happening in the pilot. This is what it says, and I'm really paraphrasing, I've changed some of the wording, due to just me trying to make it easier for you guys to understand. So the pilot of Titans is centred around three heroes, Robin, Raven and Starfire, so that is obviously excluding Beast Boy in this occasion. It begins with a flashback, the Flying Grayson Circus. This flashback is used to introduce the backstory of Dick Grayson and an introduction to Rachel Roth. It does a respectable job at making the audience understand Robin's character, akin to that of Bruce Wayne in the Batman films. It also gives a robust taste for what's to come with Raven, highlighting her unstable psyche and untapped power. However, the rest of the pilot is structured very much around the individual heroes. Each first act begins with the separating of the protagonists from one another. So let's break down this section first. So the pilot is centered around Robin, Raven and Starfire. That makes a lot of sense. We're going to be getting the backstory and I'm guessing heading into episode two we will and we'll probably get Beast Boy's backstory the next episode and also if they're going to introduce Hawk and Dove early on or Wonder Girl or anyone else that they're introducing. I think they're gonna do that like bit by bit as the series goes on because I think this is very much a not just a one season show it's going to be multiple seasons so I feel like the first season is going to be them building the characters up and then finally coming together. It says that we're going to get glimpses of Raven's power, we're going to get glimpses of Dick's past and there is definitely going to be Batman mentions because he is so heavily linked to that. But let's move on to the next bit. Titans is very much not a series for children. There are multiple F-bombs and S-bombs among other swear words that make it seem like they are truly going for an R rating. So that's the American version of like a 15 or an 18. So moreover, the action is brutal with bone snaps, people shot, burned and mangled. Titans doesn't shy away from the big fantastical spectacle and instead embraces the comic roots of the character we can have a realistic Robin fight scene, but we can also have Starfire blasting away goons with a burst of fire. It's a mixture of realism and fantasy that works great. Essentially, that gives the grasp of the show, so it's going to be very hardcore. If I can make any comparisons, I'm guessing it's more going to be a bit like The Dark Knight, but amped up to a sort of Logan level of violence, if I'm talking superhero film terms. So it's going to be a lot darker and a lot grittier than Arrow, and Arrow's like the gritty DC show right now, and it's going to go even further than that. So let's move on to the next bit. Robin is the first character we are introduced to. At this stage in his life, decades after the Flying Grayson incident, Dick Grayson is in a terrible place. He doesn't work with Batman anymore after growing to hate him and leaving Gotham for San Francisco. He's afraid of becoming like Bruce. Nevertheless, he is a detective. We are introduced to some of the series' side characters like a few detectives, and after what Batman did to Dick, he shuts himself off from any relationships absorbing himself in work so that absorption is very very typical in writing it's kind of strange that they've gone for the san francisco thing but i think that's just mainly to link it in because in the comics he normally goes to bloodhaven and that's where he becomes nightwing but he's going to be robin at first and then he's slowly going to transition into that nightwing costume that he's going to get in the future so this iteration he's a detective Seems like maybe he's a bit older than the Dick Grayson we're used to. You know, it's going to be really interesting. So he's in a terrible place and we're going to see him progress out of that. And I think the Titans coming together is going to be what helps him. Here we get a more extensive look into the character of Rachel Roth. We get to see more of her mother, Angela, an insomniac trying to manage taking care of a problematic child like Raven. Raven's powers are also given some spotlight early on, highlighting a deeply disturbed and almost demonic individual residing inside her. It's clear Raven's relationships at school 
are going to be a big part of her story moving forward and it's also within this act that we are introduced to one of the main antagonists of the story a mysterious hitman whose intentions and superiors are unclear but hint at a more extensive narrative at play Without spoilers, let's just say that the Acolyte prompts some change within Rachel's life that launch the entire show into motion. So I think what they're talking about with the Acolyte guy, the villain of this episode or this just segment of the episode is just heading into the idea of the cult and obviously the introduction of Trigon because that is supposedly the big bad for this season or you know he's going to be introduced this season and he'll come next season, something like that. But Trigon in the comics is... Raven's father so that makes a lot of sense if this acolyte makes a big difference on her life going forward it would have to be something to do with Trigon. So moving on to the next bit we are given some more story developments with Robin and Raven and then we are into the next act Starfire. So she is probably the most intriguing character in the pilot episode when we first meet her Starfire is smack in the middle of a car crash and armoured men are chasing her for an unknown reason to us. Also, I think this is a good time to mention her outfit and appearance as recent set photos caused some controversy among fans. Starfire is introduced to us the night after a disco party. That is the reason why she looks like someone out of a 1970s club, and that's due to the fact that she was at one. Her dress and hairstyle aren't part of her usual look, so everyone needs to relax a bit and wait for an official costumed image. On the escape, Starfire finds out she has multiple passports and can speak multiple languages. The identity of this woman is an absolute mystery. Some more events transpire and she is propelled on a mission that will sow the seeds for titans breaking that last part down so starfire is going to be looking different and i knew that loads of people were freaking out about that but this essentially confirms she's going to have a proper suit that is not her suit that is just a disco that she was wearing at a 1970s club in present day so don't freak out about that it's all fine and so they tease the idea that Starfire finds out about her alien origins and it seems like before this she is not known to what actually she is and you know her powers due to her finding out after being chased and so I'm guessing it's some sort of government agency or someone that wants Starfire's powers someone that has been actually tracking her and looking into her past. So overall the pilot of Titans is said to be an excellent introduction to the series and we get the introduction to all these different characters and we get the idea of what the tone's going to be like throughout the entire season. So anyway guys, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy this Titans video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe and turn on notifications and share this video with fellow Titans fans because I would really like for me to do lots of Titans videos because I'm really excited for this series. So if you could share it around, maybe we can start getting a following to do with this. Anyway guys, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye. Sharp breed.